Well, good evening. Ethan back for another beer review. And tonight I'm doing Nostalgia IPA from Slow Pour Brewing Company out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. Established 2017, uh, Slow Pour Brewing. Lawrenceville is about a oh, 20 minute drive from me. It's a local brewery, relatively new brewery. The Nostalgia IPA has 57 IBUs. I saw a line that said 59 though, but the can says 57. The hops are Citra and Centennial. This is a 12 ounce can and it is 6.4% alcohol by volume. Um, on Beer Advocate, it had a not available, no data yet, so they didn't have a score for it because it's a relatively new beer. But it is available all year round. Slow Pour Brewing also has some limited availability beers. Brewed and canned in Lawrenceville, Georgia. It says right on the can. And this little um, paragraph they have on the can says, Put on some headphones, crank up the phonograph, hit play on the 8-track, and let melody and lyric spark life. Feel the music, begin to move, enjoy good beer, and good conversation with us. It's got like a girl listening to headphones on the front, sort of a very artsy, kind of a typical craft beer can art. They usually have real exotic, artistic designs on the cans compared to domestic or macro or whatever. Let's go ahead and get a pour. Crack it. 57 IBUs, that's not too much for an IPA. All right, it's pouring a dark golden orangey, kind of a hazy, unfiltered look, sort of an orange, June, orange juice blue moon-esque appearance. All right. You got some cascading bubbles, very small one finger head. Wow, very aromatic on the nose. You're getting orange peel, lemon, lime, a citrus, a pine needle. Very, very typical IPA aroma. Very resinous. Just so pine needly. Like the crushed up pine needles. When you smell it, as that very resinous, pungent aroma. That's exactly what this smells like. Well, let's go ahead and get a try since that head is so uh, small and dissipated so quick. Right up front and on the tongue afterward, you're getting a nice bit of hot bitterness. Very hoppy. Um, a nice citrus orange bitterness, not a not a tangy, pithy bitterness that's off-putting, but a nice, zesty, grapefruit kind of flavor. Very, very good IPA. Very typical of the style IPA. Um, you know, drinking this beer, if it tasted like Budweiser, you know, that'd be weird. I'd be like, what's up? Because IPAs are not supposed to taste like Budweiser. And I have the receipt right here. Let's see, I got a tw uh, six pack of 12 ounce cans for $10.99. So, for craft beer um, prices, that's not too bad. Pretty typical. Um, they usually run you about $9.99 to $12.99 a six pack. Sometimes you'll get a four pack. Just a very hoppy, hoppy flavor. The malt is a little bit on the back seat, or in the back seat, I should say. And it's not very upfront. Mostly you're just getting the nice hoppy citrus bitterness with this. And for a score, I'd give this a, well, for the style, India Pale Ale. Um, I haven't had as many of those as I've had macros, but well, for the style and my personal preference, I'd have to give this... Nostalgia IPA, a 
93 out of 100. It's a good beer. Um, it's it's refreshing. It's it's kind of a sipper, but I mean, it's not difficult to drink it. It just has a good good amount of bitterness where you wouldn't want to guzzle it. Very grapefruity. I'm getting that on the aroma and the flavor. But yeah, 93 out of 100 for the Nostalgia IPA from Slow Pour Brewing Company out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. I'm trying to see if I can find a, a date on the can, maybe. I don't see one, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. Pretty high alcohol content, so it'll it'll keep a little longer. But yeah, 93 for this beer. It's enjoyable. Um, probably has very poor nationwide distribution, but regionally here in Georgia, obviously, out of Slow Pour Brewing Company, it's um, pretty easy to find. I've seen it a few times. Um, a lot of you probably can't get it, uh, but it's enjoyable if you're in the Georgia area. Regionally sold, relatively new brewery, but um, they have other beers, other specials, other beers under Slow Pour's name. So they'll probably be coming out with more and expanding as they, you know, get some age on them. Relatively new now, but yeah, the sky's the limit for Slow Pour Brewing Company. 93 out of 100. It's enjoyable. Thank you for watching and cheers.